to drop it. Drop it, drop it, pull forward. Can you pull? Can you? Where's your fire extinguisher? It, it's out, it's out. I need, uh, need another one. You don't, what about, what about? Oh. You, you couldn't pull the pin, you couldn't pull the pin? You didn't pull the pin? It's too hot now, you're too hot now. Release your lines, release your line there. Release your line real quick. You don't have a hook, you don't have a hook to try to, to, try to pull it. There's no way to drop the pin right now. This is so painful to watch. Here's another angle from a dash cam. This is so painful to watch. Look how they're just kind of slowly walking around. I'm sitting here going, man, you got to drop that trailer. You have got to drop that trailer. <laughs> Get, you know, save something. But these guys are just kind of walking around. There's no fire extinguishers or anything. We're just walking around. Oh, just a little bit of smoke. Man, no, that's Hubble fire, man, and it's going to get bigger. And there it is. It's flaming up. It's flaming up. And I'm sitting here thinking, please drop the trailer. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm pulling my hair out. I ain't got no hair. <laughs> oh, gosh, look at this guy. All right. And uh, this this only gets painful from here. This only gets painful from here. I mean, to tell you. You know, these guys, uh, you know, just kind of walking around like 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 nothing's happening. But this dude's fixing to it's fixing to get worse. The last clip with the guy holding the cell phone, he didn't get all of it. <laughs> you know, like we're, we're watching this and now we, we got a little bit of sense of urgency because now we're starting to see those flames pop up. And I'll tell you guys something that Hubble, man, they. It ain't going to stop. And then, obviously, you're right there by your tires. That rubber's going to catch on fire. And then the air out of that, that is going to make it everything explode. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. This is not good, folks. He should have dropped that trailer. Listen, you're going to, you know, there it goes. There goes the tire. All right. And, um... Yeah, it woke, wakes everyone up. Mm. You know, uh, you'll start to see people bring fire extinguishers out um, and everything. You know, in a situation like this, man, um, you you know, if one fire extinguisher ain't going, there's the guy. See the guy with the uh, with the. Uh, Guy holding the phone right there on the right. That's the guy. That's the clip we just saw. That's a clip we just saw. Okay. And we got fire extinguishers and everything. But uh, guess what? It's too late to pull that pin. Now, if you had a pin puller, those things are like two and a half, three feet long. Uh, but now it's just so hot. You've got to get those flames down in order to even get down that far. All right, you just do. Now, you'll start to see more people start to help out here. Okay, but that, you know. So, in a situation like this, in a situation like this, man, you've got to save equipment, whether it be your truck. If your trailer's on fire, you drop your, you know, you drop your trailer. There's fire extinguisher right there. But if your truck's on fire, you still try to drop your, uh, if you can, drop your trailer, Okay, that way you can save your trailer. You know, you got to save something, right? Um, save as much as you can. Now, the fire extinguisher, I mean, you, you need more. Now, he finally, he, now he's moving it, but he's making it worse by doing that. See there? He's making it worse. He's spreading it and everything. Um, that thing, unless you have more fire extinguishers, that thing's just going to have to burn out because these tires are catching on fire. You know, and obviously the air inside those suckers will make will make an explosion.
You got more guys. Now, they're, they're bringing out water. If you see that, they're bringing out water. But let me tell you guys something. You don't bring water to an oil fire. It just it spreads it, and it makes it worse. Okay? Don't bring water. Yeah, you can sit there and throw water on it all day long. You're just going to make it worse. You know, you've got to cut the, you got to cut the source and cut the air. And that's what the, um, what the fire extinguisher is there for. So in this situation, it's like, get as many of the, you're in a truck stop, get as many, uh, fire extinguishers as you can. Those, those things are, uh, you know, you can get them all, you know, everywhere. All right. And that's what some of these guys are doing. But then you see these guys bringing out water bottles and throwing water in. It's just making it worse. The water's making it worse, their drivers. They ain't helping. Now, finally, he's able to, you know, get it to where he could pull the uh, pull the pin and drop the trailer. Uh, but the trailer's already got a lot of damage to it. I would imagine that the... Uh, Whoever's product that is is probably not going to claim that. More fire extinguishers. But th then you see guys throwing water out there on it still. Huh. Look at all those water bottles over there. So, I have not seen pictures of this truck, um, if it's totaled or anything like that, uh, I would imagine it's pretty darn close to it, if, especially if the fire got into the cab, and that's the problem with the water, if you're going to throw water on it, it makes the, uh, fire, uh, expand, right, because, well, you know, um, so at least if you if you're going to lose your rear ends or anything, you know your tires and whatnot, that's easily replaceable. I would say easily. It's expensive. Who knows? That you know, but uh, I mean it's damaged. There we go. We got a better angle right there. But you get up there in that cab, and, and yeah, it's all toast. It's all toast. If I was this dude, I'd be getting a lot of you know personal belongings out of there as fast as you can personal you know clothes uh expensive stuff and you know because if not then well you're out you're out of stuff um i'd be getting a bunch of stuff out that's what i'd be doing but at this point at this point you just gotta let it you know let the fire do its deal and unfortunately you've got a lot of um you've got a lot of uh flammable stuff back there and uh those that, all that rubber catching on fire um and just hopefully it doesn't catch into the cab but first thing i would have done first thing i would have done seen that kind of smoke coming back there i would have dropped that trailer okay salvaged that trailer and all its cargo and then um pull away and then try to get as many fire extinguishers as i can on the fire source but uh this much fire no fire extinguishers i don't think are going to do much good until a fire department gets out here that's what i think what do you guys think huh hey guys got the shirts down there available okay what do you guys think about that man um type your what would you do in that situation uh what would you do in that situation because I tell you what I'll do. Hey, if you got clips, Bonehead Truckers, send them a contact at boneheadtruckers.com or join our Facebook group, Say No to Bonehead Truckers. Okay, all the information is down there in the description, links and everything, how to get in touch with me and all that kind of garbage. Hey, appreciate you guys watching. we got Bonehead Truckers of the Week tomorrow morning. Okay, appreciate you for watching.